when I saw him in eighth grade, the first time I saw him and I was like, I just saw him and I was, wow, that man is big. He is, looks very scary. I think he's one of the uh, hardest working, uh, uh, very caring uh, individual here at the school. You have moments with him where he can be like, just lay, just lay back and chill and everything. And then you have moments with him where he's just like stirring and just like looking at you like, like, what are you doing? Like, are you serious right now? I think everybody's intimidated by him. As far as like, you know, students, when they first meet him, because he's like very strict, like, you know, doesn't smile. I quit going into, you know, my freshman year because I couldn't handle it. My sophomore year, I joined back in, and you know, I started doing what I had to do. You know, I was better, you know, I came back strong. I actually got to meet him, like the way he is, and you know, his personality, and I'm like, he's, he's not intimidating. He is a man who knows what he wants, and he's not gonna settle until he gets what he wants. He pushes you, he, uh, he'll give you a hard time, but he does it for a reason, because most, a lot of his students that came out of MacArthur and the music program, are, are up there or they know how to play extremely well and he just pushes you to that limit and he wants you to go higher. Uh, uh, it's always hard for like the people who are in the band the first year because they don't know how Mr. Diaz is and how he encourages people. Yeah, and begin to shape and mold them and, and get them to, to that professional level that I've seen him produce time and time again. Sometimes you feel like his criticism, like he's bashing you and he's not because he sees so much in you. And yet, at the same time, you feel like, okay, you know, I can't, I can't be what he wants me to be. You can, you already are, you just have to work towards it. Being in the Institute gives everybody a whole different drive, a different mentality that you have to have that a lot of young kids wouldn't really normally have. You know, of course, he sees potential in kids, and he's going to push a kid. And if he sees the potential, then you're not meeting expectations. He does get on you, and he will be on you. You know, he's not giving you the cold shoulder to, to be you know, a mean person. He's doing it because he's trying to get you to understand in the real world how it is in the real world because the real world, it's not easy. No one's nice to you, you know, and that's what I try to tell these kids. Mr. Diaz was probably one of the main reasons I stayed in the practice room because I always wanted to have his approval or be able to solo. And I wouldn't, I didn't want to be that one person on the bandstand who didn't know his part and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's always embarrassing to be called out and not know your part. And to be honest, he still intimidates me from time to time. But everything he does is to help us improve. Like, his methods have helped me go as far as I, I've gone. He changed my whole perspective on music. Um, introduced me to various artists like that he brought in, different clinics and clinicians that he brought in, and uh, just like changed my playing completely. Just exposed me to a lot of stuff. He, he won't limit you. He'll, he'll, he'll suggest who to listen to. He'll, he'll suggest on what, what else to play, on what else to learn. When I first was hired here, I was amazed in, in, in what I saw. Uh, and that was my first year here. And so now that I've been here uh, 10 years and I've seen the, the people go through those transformations and I've seen them go through those things, it, it's really amazing. Everything I got out of it growing up has definitely paid off for me. And I've seen uh, Mr. Diaz uh, work with the kids, uh, even the ones that uh, are um, uh, difficult and, and having their issues on their own, he will, he will help them out. He will stay there and, and, and guide them you know, through the difficult paths that, they're, that, that, there's, that they face on a daily basis. He helps them all the time. Mr. Diaz feels like another father figure to me because he believes in me just like he believes in everybody else. He knows I can do good as long as I work hard, and he tells me what I need to do. He just teaches me so much, and I appreciate everything he has done for me. Mm -hmm.